VFX artist reveals true scale of Attack on Titan. Oh, hey, welcome back. Holy shit. It's fucking Aaron, bro. Oh my god. Back. Quick, get inside. It's dangerous out there. I'll get inside. Here's some time to see the most terrifying thing. I'd love to be in a t on a on fucking Titan. Titan's this throat. This brutal story about massive walls protecting the last of humanity was a lie. The walls were never a defense. They were a weapon buried within the hardened stone... I still remember that twist, bro. Oh my god, I forgot. What season was it? Was it the end of season one or season two when that happens? Isn't it season one? Oh, shit, bro. What do you mean, Ayo? You wouldn't go in a Titan's throat? Come on, bro. They did an Attack on Titan Park, and you could go through the, the mouth of a Titan. You wouldn't do it? When I go to Japan, they have like a life-size Godzilla. You could zip line through his fucking mouth. You know I'm going to do that shit. I'm going to scream Tatakai when I go through his mouth. Surface are colossal. Yeah, the season titans. one ending. An entire army of colossal titans. They rest here dormant, waiting to be awakened with a single. Uh, I didn't know to that. Destroy the world. In this video, you're getting a glimpse of the apocalypse. What if the rumbling was real? I fucking wish. I wish, guys, if the rumbling was real, where do you wish it would hit first? Real question. I think it should hit New York. That that's my first destination. And once it hits New York. That's it. That's it. That's it. Damn, maybe that was the wrong question to ask. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit! Again, I'll try my best to avoid story spoilers like the last time I made a video about Attack on Titan, but with- <laughs> You guys want to know an Attack on Titan spoiler? <laughs> nah, I won't do that. I won't do that. The conclusion of the anime, I just have to talk about the rumbling. Spoilers. Spoilers. The rumbling was nowhere in sight within season one, so he just spoiled it. I won't mention any details, so don't worry if you're not caught up. He was like, I won't spoil anything, then he shows this. About Attack on Titan, but with the conclusion of the anime... Fucking liar. I have to talk about the rumbling. How am I supposed to fake react to Attack on Titan now? I won't mention any details, so don't worry if you're not caught up. I mean, not all of us have made it to season four, part three, episode two, chapter five. I don't want to see that joke ever again. But regardless, I think it's time for us to see some fish bones. That's the nickname I've given to the largest and most bizarre titan in the entire series. I won't spoil anything. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Consisting almost entirely of exposed bones, this giant ribcage titan- That's not a spoiler, guys. That's just, uh, uh, uh um, the, it's called the, the, um, the goldfish titan. It, it's not canon. Measures over a kilometer in length. With the Bro, wait, is that New York? Come on! The spines on its back reaching six. Uh, oh, fuck, it's not New York. Shit, no, no, leave, 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 leave. 150 meters tall. Simply put, this Titan towers over most modern city skyscrapers, though it's New York! shorter than the tallest building in the world. Oh. Although I have no idea how the heck this thing is supposed really? to be. Why did I think like the 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 Aaron that Titan when he's in that the, the fucking I forgot bro I forgot what it's called when when he's in the, the rumbling poem bro I thought he was like the size of the fucking planet like his head would reach the, the clouds move I mean does it just float around like a blimp does it crawl along oh, the bones shit. like legs of a centipede or what if it just stood up on the wait are those legs look at those legs <laughs> One Piece character build <laughs> legs just when I thought this Titan couldn't get oh my bizarre, god somehow this takes it there so yeah he got that black beard build. Perhaps it's a good call not having it stand up like this. That would look fucking crazy, man. Oh my god. Tell me not. It looks like it's like the biggest hug known to man. Damn. <laughs> and he's doing a T pose. <laughs> the main thing to know about this monstrosity is that it controls the army of titans that are waiting within the walls. According to legend, the walls were formed from countless colossal titans standing shoulder to shoulder. Using a special hardening ability to grow the walls around them, they encased themselves inside. However, once awoken, the walls would crumble. D this guy said there's no spoilers. He just explained everything. What the fuck is going on, bro? I saw the whole show in this video. What's he gonna show next? Aaron flying as a bird? They're gonna show headless Aaron next and reveal a literal clone army of the single most dangerous no titan. It's a force capable of destroying the entire world without having to do more than just walk. See, unlike the threat of traditional weapons like guns or bombs, this weapon is an unstoppable tidal wave that will hydraulic press the entire world until it's flat. Bro, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. 
I'm stepping into um, tinfoil hat theory um, territory right now. But let me know if I'm wrong, right? I think by the end of my existence, like I'm saying 2000, how long will I live? What's another 60 years from now? Will I make it to my 90s? I don't know. Let's say I make it to my 90s and it's 2080, right? I think by then we'll have like an alien invasion. So how many wall titans I think make so, up bro. this force? The I show think never so. gives us a legit answer, but fortunately they did leave enough what do y'all think? for us to figure out because yeah, I did the math. In order to calculate the scale of the rumbling, we need two things. The size of the walls and the titans inside. They're going to build a wall? The wall titans were the same size as the colossal Fuck yeah. titan. But there's a big problem with that assumption. The colossal titan is taller than the wall. I mean, this guy looming above the wall is one of the most iconic images from the story. How what the fuck was that? Images from... Where is it? Oh, this is Universal Japan, bro. I wish I went when this happened. Oh my god, I would have took the head home with me. The story. How is he supposed to fit inside? That's what she said. <laughs> one possible answer is that the Wall Titans are just shorter, but there's actually some evidence from season one suggesting they're not. There's a story of a miner who tried to. T I never get along with this guy. Tunneled beneath the wall, but hit bedrock about 10 meters down, implying that maybe he just hit the hardened feetsies of the Wall Titans themselves. So, all right then, I guess that means the Wall Titans are 60 meters tall, 20 meters wide, and buried at least 10 meters down. Bro, they, they really went all out with this shit. I mean, it says VFX artist, but it's cool. It's so cool to see this, man. Like, that somebody actually did this, you know? They took the time to fucking animate this, to move the arms and everything. This is cool. Down. This actually makes a lot of sense because any wall is going to need a solid foundation so it doesn't just fall over. But how big are these walls? They reside on the island of Paradis, but if you flip them... Did he say Paradis? That sounds like an Indian name. What? I think but there's somebody in here named Paradis. How big or are... Paradis. are these walls? They reside on the island of Paradis, but... If Have I been calling it that wrong the entire time, bro? It's called Paradis? Like a parody? Oh god. If you flip the map, Fuck it me. looks just like Madagascar with the east coast of Africa resembling Marley. This suggests that the- At least said Marley, right? He didn't say Marley. World of Attack on Titan is simply a mirror version of Earth, but the numbers tell a different story. Episode 1 revealed the radius of the three walls surrounding humanity, meaning the total area within the walls is 723,000 square kilometers. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what that means. Is that a lot? Not only is that exactly, I have no idea, bro. I don't know about centimeters and measurements. I look like a a a, 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 a fucking me mechanic. Bigger than Madagascar, but it's bigger than Texas. Oh, Texas. Shit. This little devil island is so much God. bigger than any of Wait, the what? Texas. Bigger than Madagascar. I had no idea. Is that a lot? Not only is that bigger than Madagascar, but it's bigger than Texas. Texas. This little. I thought it was the size of my, 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 my uh, of like a supermarket. Devil Island is so much bigger than any of us realize. Holy shit! If we cut up the walls and string them together into a line, they'd be about seven. <laughs> what? There's no fucking way. Bro, whenever, um, Isayama, what, what's his name? Isayama, right? Um, whenever he made this shit, I think he was just exaggerating. He had to be, bro. That's fucking scary. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Thousand kilometers long. That's the distance from Las Vegas to New York City and back. That <laughs> what the fuck? Isn't nah, man, nah, I seriously thought it was the size of, like, a supermarket. Maybe, maybe a Walmart. But let's not forget that the Great Wall of China is three times longer than that. What? I thought the Great Wall of China was like a, like a, I don't know, man, like the size of a, I don't know, like, I don't know. I'm trying to think. How could I say this? Like, like a, a, a the Javits Center in Manhattan. I didn't know it was that fucking long. It's also real, so you know, ain't no Titans waiting in there. I've never been to China. I look Chinese. Okay, it's time to answer the big question. How many Titans are in the walls? 350,000. This number alone is colossal and would make it the 16th colossal. largest army in the world if they were normal size. 
<laughs> this size is Berthold. Guys, but they're not. They're colossal titans. Just one is already the most dangerous creature in the entire world. The danger is mainly just from their feet, because all they need to do is step on you with their tremendous weight. I calculated that the weight of each of these titans. Man, I knew. Like titans and the wall. I knew it was pretty big, right? But I didn't know it was this fucking big. I think they under like under exaggerated. I, think, I don't think they told us enough how fucking big it was. I don't know, man. Titans is Maybe I missed that fact. Kilograms. I don't know. That's the same weight as 52 blue whales, but stuffed inside a creature that walks on two legs. When walking, we apply this is a mind from fuck. like one and a half to three times our own body weight into the force of each step. Oh my god. I wish. It's like Godzilla. Bro, who would win? Godzilla or Armin? Under exaggeration is not a thing. Dude, I, I, I went to college for like one semester barely, okay? My vocabulary is limited. Godzilla? Yeah, fuck Armin. My bad, God, my, I didn't mean Godzilla. That's copyrighted. Godzilla from My Hero, I meant. Oh, oh my, and with the footprint the size of a studio apartment, that means a lot of demolition. Look at the size of it. The size the of my four-bedroom apartment when I live with my Despite family. having a lot of strength, the ground underneath the road gives way, causing the brittle concrete to flex and break apart. Phew, that was a close one, but fortunately, he didn't step on me. Oh, no. Who said unfortunately in the chat? Nobody did, I did. Now, obviously you're no, nothing, I, I like this guy, he's fine. Walking, <laughs> but with enough people around, every I'm square inch around. is the bottom of someone's foot. 350,000 pairs of feet is a lot, but in order to leave no ground unstomped, the marching titans would need to be multiple rows deep. They need to walk in a line so that the ground can get completely flattened by all of the footsteps. Dude, oh my god, I thought he had like multiple twins. At least he has an energy sword in the back. You know what, bro? I love you. I love you. I'll never make fun of you. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I saw Mr. Beast in the chat. I mean, he wasn't here. I saw somebody say Mr. Beast. He would never watch my videos, bro. He'd be canceled for watching my videos. But let me be honest, bro. I fucking hate those type of videos. At least this guy isn't like, press that subscribe button, like the video, comment below. You know what I mean? I fucking hate that shit, bro. Join the Discord. Uh, uh, um, join the cult. Um, like the video. Subscribe. Comment. Uh, follow my brother. Follow my cousin. Um, subscribe to my cousin, add his phone number to your phones, um, call his voicemail, leave a voicemail with your email address, sign up for the newsletter, uh, um, join, YouTube join, also become a Patreon supporter so you can give me more money, um, what else, uh, um, um, I don't know, subscribe to Netflix, because I might have a show on there one day, uh, uh, make sure you buy a year subscription to Netflix, um, um, and, uh, uh, here's my fan mail, which I'll never check. Just, just send me something. Give me money. So how many would it take? After scaling down a Titan to my height and laser cutting its footprint into a stamp? <laughs> I have Titan feet. I set out to walk along this stretch of dirt until it was fully I wish I had talent, down. man. <laughs> oh, okay, shit. I'm going to go do it again. And to my surprise, it only took... I love the screams of millions. Seven passes to completely stomp it all. Which means that the marching formation only needs a column of seven titans to squash the whole world. And the rumbling itself would be at least like a thousand kilometers wide. It's a friggin' mega meter line of... Holy shit, it's like a Game of Thrones scene. Pure destruction. They would have to comb across the world going back and forth like a lawnmower. Perhaps like, I never realized how <laughs> huge the fucking rumbling was. Bro, these guys have way too much time. Bro, this is their job. Look how many views they have. Two million views. They have a six million subs. Then they do they corridor crew. I watched something from them before. But like this is this is their fucking job. Perhaps there'd even be some overlap. It's like people telling me, go, go, stop watching anime, go get a job. This is my fucking job, bro. They don't end up with little gaps in the annihilation, you know? But the story takes place in an early industrial era where there aren't large-scale cities or buildings. 60-meter titans are literally the biggest things around, but that's not the case in a modern- I am swear to God, this is Fortnite. This is gonna be Fortnite. If they ever do like a pack, a second pack for Attack on Titan, this is this, this is no different important to Fortnite right now, bro. Look, the main point look I made the about the on top of the building. In my first video was that it's just not as big as you might expect because compared to a I wish, holy shit, M Aaron, please. Modern city, it's really not. You can knock the city off the map. Of colossal titans inside. 
Whoa, 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 this is important. Shut up, shut up. Here to a modern city, it's really not. You could hide dozens of colossal titans inside New York City because most of the buildings in Manhattan are significantly taller than them. Bro, titans need to stop, start eating. Holy Modern shit. World, 60 meters just isn't all that big anymore. And wait, Fucking wait, hold up. Is that what I. Th <laughs> what? Holy shit. Oh my god. I, w I, I wish I could attach myself to this building and then go around the city. Think it is? Okay, I guess not. Apparently it's just a train station, but come on. It's a train station? I think, I, I think Aaron is plotting. It's even on a system called The Path. Eh? Eh? No? Oh. Remember the Godzilla movie that came out in 98 starring Ferris Bueller? We don't talk about this one. What do you mean, remember? Why would you want me to remember? We don't talk about this garbage! That's a lot of fish. This Zilla stands only sl- Good Godzilla, bro. It looks like- a, it looks like a fucking alligator! Slightly taller than the Colossal Titan- I like Godzilla better! At 70 meters tall, but it wrecked New York City. Most buildings can withstand things like earthquakes, but bump a giant like shoulder. If, if, I don't want this Godzilla. I don't even want to call him Godzilla, bro. This is got. Get, what, what do we call him again? Godzilla 2000. I forgot what we call him. But like, I don't want to. I don't want this one. I, I want um, Shin Godzilla destroying New York. Yeah, Zilla. My bad. We call him Zilla. To it, and there's Lizard. no way that building's not getting condemned. And that's not even mentioning how much damage the military ended up doing. Godzilla to the city. minus one. I want him to walk through here. <laughs> yeah. Titans certainly make much easier targets than a dodging lizard, but there's still one more trick up the Titan's muscly sleeves. They can emit supercritical steam. We're talking about steam that is so hot, it can ignite cloth on fire! Like I'm gonna start doing my videos like this, guys. Ooh, welcome to the video! <laughs> Imagine. Six or seven hundred degrees hot. So not only are these titans stomping everything to a pulp, but they're also burning it all as well. Steam might not be able to get hot enough to melt steel beams, <clears throat> but it doesn't have to. The tremendous amount of heat generated by these titans would easily be enough to destroy a city. I mean, the windows would melt. Even the concrete of the buildings would be damaged. From Let's do it. I mean, just look at how a simple pallet fire in Los Angeles. Can my tax dollars go to this? Destroyed a highway. Traffic has been awful. Which begs the question, if the rumbling were to happen in the real world today, could we resist? One could could we fight back and win? To kill a titan- No. No. No, bro. No. There's so many people in power that actually want this to happen. They're not gonna assist us. Let's be honest, bro. We're, the world was almost defeated by a disease. Now imagine fucking rumbling. You have to destroy the nape of its neck, and over the course of the show, the characters innovate new ways to do this, from swords and omnidirectional movement People gear. fucking crying in the streets if you misidentify them. You think we're gonna be able to fight a fucking titan? These things called thunder spears. Fast forward to our reality, and we have guided missiles, fighter jets, and even freaking nuclear bombs! So Dude. <laughs> Fucking FBI gonna raid his house now. Make sure that's not VFX. Yeah, I think we could win. In fact, I dare say that the rumbling is less dangerous to us than we are to ourselves. It's the consolidation of power that's the real danger. I'm gonna be completely honest, bro. Like, no, 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 no fake reaction bullshit. If the rumbling actually existed, it depends where it attacks, right? If it attacks Japan, I think they'll be able to combat, right? That they'll be able to... Uh, um, just fight back and win. But let's say it comes to America. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know. I have no faith. But I need Aaron to tell me when because I'll move away. And then just watch it on TV with popcorn and live and shit, you know? And I think that's why I still find the concept of the rumbling so... Yo, is that gut sword? So haunting. One of the themes of Attack on Titan is inevitability. The idea that we as humans cannot change our nature and are therefore powerless to change our future. But if that's true, then where do we go from here? How do we keep moving forward if what we're moving toward is this? Bro, you're telling me America has the craziest mil militia? The military man? You'd have people in the streets protesting. Saying they're not called titans, they're called titan. You're calling them by the wrong pronouns. Don't. We're gonna lose. You can't do that, bro. The Titans have feelings. They're misunderstood. We'd be fucking doomed. We'd be done. Be honest with yourself, bro.
Be like, oh shit, look, it's- I hate them! Did you say them? Huh. It's not them, okay? It's- 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 it's he and him. Is it possible to change a story that's already been written? Is it pointless to even try? No. I don't believe in a deterministic universe. <laughs> Holy shit! The future is ours to write. Come on! <laughs> oh my god! Fuck yeah! This is the only way we're winning. Holy shit, that was fucking awesome, man. Goofy? Nah, that was awesome, bro. I want an opening like that. That's the only way I'll do an intro. If someone could do an intro of me biting my hand and turning into, like, the fake Titan, the forehead Titan, bro. The Titan with the largest fucking head. My body's gonna be one piece sized, and then the rest is just gonna be a head. I'm gonna look like, what's his name? Um, uh, um, what's the Titan's name? Uh, 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 Historia is her father. Reese. I'm gonna look like Rod Reese times ten.